Welcome back to our channel, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we have an intriguing topic to discuss. In a recent event, former President Donald Trump delivered a fiery rant where he praised Tucker Carlson while criticizing what he refers to as globalists and deep staters. Let's dive into the details and analyze this passionate speech. But before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos. Now, let's jump right into it. Tucker Carlson, a very good guy, is exactly right. The number one reason the totally corrupt Biden administration and the sick Washington establishment are after me is because I stand up to their failed foreign policy agenda. The one thing Washington cannot forgive is that I put America first, always put America first. I could never help it. I have to do that in order to make America great again. I reject their foolish and disastrous foreign wars, their horrific globalist trade deals, their open border catastrophes, their corruption of our intelligence system, and it's never been more corrupt, and all of the other betrayals of the American people. Most recently, the warmongers, globalists, and deep staters are absolutely livid that I refuse to bend the knee to their next endless war in Ukraine. I want peace. They want money, and they want conflict, even if it means walking us into the brink of World War III, which, frankly, it is doing, and it's doing it rapidly. I want people to stop dying. I want to end that war. I'll end that war between those two countries in 24 hours. It won't even take that long. I will get the war ended. I'll stop all of those lives from being wasted and lost. And there'll be no more bombing of Ukraine. There'll be no more bombing of Russia. And everybody will be happy. That's why, despite the massive criminality and corruption of the Clintons, the Bidens, the Obamas, and all the rest, None of them ever get indicted or ever get investigated. They're totally protected by a fake and disgusting system. But I did everything right, and the system tries to throw me right into a jail. They can't beat me at the ballot box, so they're out there trying to take me out by other means, anything they can think of. These people don't love our country. As I've said before, if I renounced my beliefs or if I stayed silent, the persecution would stop. If I didn't run for office or if I wasn't leading by a lot, it would all end and end very nicely. I'd have a much easier life. But I can't do that, and I won't do that. The fact is that we're leading by a lot because they're doing a bad job. We're leading Ron DeSanctimonious by 40 points, and we're leading Joe Biden by 10, 11, 12, by a lot. I'm going to take on all of the forces that are trying to destroy this country, and I'm going to win for you. On November 5th, 2024, justice will be done. Thank you very much. During a public appearance in a packed auditorium, former President Donald Trump unleashed a fiery rant targeting what he calls globalists and deep staters. However, what caught the attention of many was his praise for Tucker Carlson. Trump commended Carlson's relentless dedication to exposing what he perceives as the hidden agendas of powerful entities. In his speech, Trump passionately expressed his frustration with what he sees as the erosion of American values and sovereignty due to the influence of globalist forces. He accused these globalists of prioritizing their own interests over the well-being of the American people. This is what President Trump said, and I quote, We have to fight against the globalists and deep staters who are working against our great nation. They don't care about you or me. They care about their own power and wealth. But we won't let them win. And I want to give a shout out to Tucker Carlson, who has been fearlessly calling them out on his show. Trump's endorsement of Tucker Carlson, one of the most influential conservative voices in the media, Trump has often praised Carlson's bold reporting and willingness to challenge mainstream narratives. The speech drew mixed reactions from both supporters and critics. Trump's supporters hailed his strong stance against what they perceive as globalist threats to American sovereignty. They applauded his recognition of Tucker Carlson's efforts in bringing attention to these issues. Critics, on the other hand, raised concerns about the divisive nature of Trump's rhetoric and his continued targeting of individuals and groups he disagrees with. They argued that such language could further polarize an already divided nation. And that's a wrap for today's video, folks. What are your thoughts on Trump's fiery rant and his praise for Tucker Carlson? Do you agree or disagree with his views on globalists and deep staters? Let us know in the comments section below. Remember to give this video a thumbs up if you found it informative, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more thought-provoking content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.